Hey, it's Christmas Eve, so here's your fucking Delibird video. When I look at a Pokemon throughout the TCG, I like to consider how good the card actually was and if it relates to the in-game stats and lore of that Pokemon. As far as stats go, Delibird is not good, and as far as dex entries go, all it can do is store food in its tail and sometimes give it to people. Delibird is a bit of a joke Pokemon too. I mean, Game Freak gave it Insomnia as its hidden ability. Even though it already got Vital Spirit, they both do exactly the same thing pretty much. And prior to Gen 7, it could only learn one move through leveling, and that was present. Which had a chance to either deal damage or heal your opponent. Not very viable. Even with Gen 7, the only new move it could learn through level up was Drill Peck. Competitive movesets use it mainly as a spike setter, and then use Destiny Bond as a suicide kill. The first Delibird card in Neo Revelation plays into that present gimmick really well. If you just look at this attack, super risky, off of a basic Pokemon that has 60 HP. It's not viable at all, but it is pretty fun. In 2001, there was a Versus set that was only ever released in Japan, which had Faulkner's Delibird. It can deal 10 damage for 1 energy, and it also has an attack for 2 energy that places it and all cards attached to it on top of your deck. Then you search your deck for whatever trainer you want and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. And that attack makes this card a pretty good utility Pokemon. It's like 3 cards kind of combined into 1. You're scooping up your Delibird, you can pretty much computer search out a trainer, and you're getting a free swap in like Switch for whatever's on your bench. That set also had Prices Delibird, and its attack lets you flip a coin for each of your opponent's Pokemon, and if it's a heads, you deal 10 damage to that Pokemon. Not nearly as useful, but check out that art. Look at that little pink guy. Sky Ridge Delibird doesn't really have much going on for it. That kick away attack would be pretty good at a pre-release tournament, but that's about it. Team Rocket Returns brought us a Delibird that would be really useful with that gift exchange ability. It lets you swap a card in your hand for one off your deck, except that it has to be your active Pokemon at the time, and that kind of gets messed up because of that souvenir attack. It's kind of just a slightly altered version of the Neo Revelation Delibird. But speaking of potential for pre-release drafts, this Delibird from Great Encounters, it's got an attack for zero that lets you search for any card in your deck if you can get the coin flip. 70 HP and an attack for one energy that lets you deal chip damage? Not bad. Draw power can mean a lot in Pokemon. It helps you get your setup done, and you can strategize a lot more efficiently when you know what tools you have in your hand. And oh man, does this Delibird deliver for water decks. It lets you draw a card for every water energy you have attached to one of your Pokemon. So late game, if there's a card you need, odds are you're going to be able to get it just by using this Delibird's first attack. And it's just icing on top of the cake if you can also get off a couple of hails just to get some damage on all of your opponent's Pokemon. Boundaries Crossed gave another really good pre-release type Delibird. On top of that, it could be a really good utility card in a water deck as well. If you can hit the coin flip, present lets you get any card you need out of your deck and put straight into your hand. On top of that, you have Icy Wind, which is a pretty great secondary attack. You're dealing a, a small chunk of damage with 30, and you're for sure putting your opponent to sleep, so you can stall if you need to after you've already gotten whatever you need from your deck. Everything that has worked great for Delibird cards all culminates into the Guardian's Rising Delibird, which is the most recent one. That first attack, all the presents, it's not only just a really fun attack, it has the potential to be amazing. It just depends on how you hit coin flips. And again, it would be great for pre-release as well as that surprise attack. 40 damage is pretty solid for one energy, even though it can fail. But when you're sitting at 90 HP with the potential to deal 40 damage on turn one, or using all the presents, you could potentially get your entire setup in your hand if you can hit the right coin flips. Not to mention the great artwork to fit along with the Alola set. I wouldn't say that any of these cards are competitively viable, but I would say that they're all really fun. They fit in so well with Delibird's in-game gimmick. I think that, that all the presents attack is perfect for Delibird. I think that is the ideal way to use its in-game gimmick and lore for a card. They could always play a little more maybe into the Destiny Bond aspect of Delibird. Give it that so that it can stall a couple of turns as well as searching your deck for stuff. But really, Delibird's main gimmick is 
it delivers presence. As his only attack, uh, you could get more into the Pokedex entries about it storing food and giving food and maybe give uh, one of the cards uh, a healing attack. So what do you guys think about the history of Delibird and the TCG? Have you ever used Delibird in any of your decks? Let me know down below and have a Merry Christmas.